there's a guy come out here the other night on a, a loudspeaker and uh, stood out there in the street and and he calls himself a defender of Christ. Uh, that's pitiful. Uh, that's pitiful. If you are a Christian, you don't handle things like that. You don't. You don't get out there and and, and, and do all the stuff and that was going on out there in the streets. Just all the cussing and everything else. I mean, that ain't that ain't God. I don't care who says it is. It's all the cussing and everything else. It's just all the cussing and everything. All right, for those of you that don't know, Alabama Woodsman and I went down to Grand Ridge, Florida, where Timothy Dixon, you can see the title, he was putting a little shindig together called The Gathering. And we bullhorned Timothy Dixon and Julie Green. It was epic. Timothy Dixon didn't think that was very Christian of us. He, he thinks that he should be able to lie to the children of God without being hassled. Well, we think a little bit differently. We think it absolutely was necessary, and we think it was wonderful. What you heard in this clip from this video is Timothy Dixon lying. He lied about Alabama Woodsman and I and said that we were cussing. This is not true. The, ir the irony of this whole thing is that, in fact, it was his followers that did the cussing. And we have the video evidence to prove it. You can check it out at Alabama Woodsman's channel as well as mine. It is painfully obvious. Not only did they drop F-bombs at us several times, they, in fact, threatened us with bodily harm. And had the sheriff's department not been there, I have no doubt we would have been assaulted very badly. So Timothy Dixon put this video up and said that we were the ones that were cussing. And it, it's, I can't tell you how upset this makes me. And I know it, it made uh, Alabama Woodsman upset too, because once you get past the fact that Timothy Dixon is a confirmed false prophet many times over, well, now you have to deal with this alleged man of God coming out and making public videos lying about us. And he wonders why we bullhorn them. These are the worst people in the world. They make their livings lying in the name of Jesus Christ and then lying about those who would call them out publicly. So what I've done is I've come up with uh, let's just call it a challenge. I want to come out publicly and make a deal with Timothy Dixon. I want to donate $1,000 of my own money to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. If Timothy Dixon would come out publicly, now that there's been a little time, if he'll come out and make a video admitting that we did not cuss, and admitting that it was his followers that in fact were the ones that were dropping F-bombs and threatening bodily injury to us. Now because uh, I'm doing this publicly, I, I wanna just kind of lay this out so that you can see what I want Timothy Dixon to do. I will donate $1,000 to St. Jude's Children, Children's Hospital and I'll do it publicly. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video that you can you know, see exactly that in fact it was done. Here's what I want Timothy Dixon to do. Number one, make a video and post it to his YouTube and his Rumble channels where he admits that we, Alabama Woodsman and Drew Bloom 34, did not cuss or use any foul language during our visit to Grand Ridge, Florida, where he was. And then I want him to admit that it was his followers who in fact used the derogatory language and threatened bodily harm to us. An apology for him lying about us publicly, you know, for bearing false witness, that's optional. I want to give him 30 days to do this, and that's more than enough time for him to review all the footage that's out there, including his own, where he can easily see that we did not even approach the universe of using foul language. We don't do that. Followers of Christ don't use foul language. They don't drop F-bombs, which again, you can draw your own conclusion uh, as far as those who follow him because they very easily were, they were dropping F-bombs like candy. 
you know, I'll, I'll leave the rest of that for you uh, to decide. And, and I'll tell Timothy, you can go watch Alabama Woodsman's video. You can watch my video. And, and here's the other thing. We had a loudspeaker. We had a bullhorn, right? So it was very easy to hear what we were saying. So I want to put this challenge out there. Now, for those of you that think that you, you may accuse me of doing my alms before men, this is not that. As far as what I give, where I give, when I give, that's between the Lord and I. This is a sort of a set aside thing. Uh, let's call it a challenge slash offering because we want to help some children at St. Jude's Children's Hospital. This is where parents can't afford to pay for their, their children's cancer treatments uh, or any other disease uh, like leukemia, so on and so forth. It's a good opportunity uh, to, to do this, to get some money to this very wonderful charitable organization. And so what I'm trying to do is appeal to Timothy Dixon's better side. Number one, to come clean and admit that you lied about us. Um, maybe, giving you the benefit of the doubt, you jumped the gun and somebody told you that we were swearing. Well, you should verify this. And I think once you do verify everything and look over the footage and all the evidence, you'll see, in fact, that we did not drop foul language. And for you to get out there and make a public video saying that we did is, is just atrocious. So it's very easy to follow through with this. And I think it's important, especially you claiming to be this man of God who hears directly from God. Do the right thing. This challenge stands for 30 days. Uh, by the way, this is not going to be easy for me to do. I am not the richest man in the world. But it is important. We did not use foul language. We did not lie about this. You're the one that lied. Do the right thing. And in front of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I'm asking you to come clean and make it right. Don't let your pride get in the way. You lied about us publicly. Come forth and make it right and pu publish this video to your YouTube channel and your Rumble channel. I'm not saying you have to agree with what we did. That's fine. I'm not asking you to admit defeat because I know this is a pride thing for you. What I'm asking you to do is make it right. We didn't swear. You said we swore. Make it right.